thank God it's Sunday. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is day two of uh, my stay at the Hilton Beachfront uh, Resort in uh, Santa Barbara. And uh, I hope this frame is okay, I don't know. You should see a group of palm trees behind me. Uh, and I hope you can see me. I hope I'm not being cut off. I usually like to presentate sitting down, but uh, I have nothing to sit down on today. So I am going to do this presentation standing up. So uh, with no further ado, I have some interesting uh, items today uh, that you might find interesting. And I also have to make a confession. Uh, from yesterday's presentation, but I want to get started right away on some of the items that I think you'll find extremely, extremely uh, uh, of interest. Uh, uh, today's date, July, uh, July 11th in 1804, Aaron Burr, Aaron Burr shot to death Alexander Hamilton in a duel. That's right. He shot Alexander Hamilton in a duel to death on this day in 1804. Evidently, Alexander said something uh, inappropriate at a dinner party the night before, and Aaron Burr challenged him to a duel and uh, subsequently shot Alexander Hamilton to death. Maybe he told him that to his Mom wears army boots in the shower. Maybe he called him a Democrat. I don't know what happened, but it didn't end well. And most times it doesn't end well when firearms are present. It just doesn't end well when firearms are present at any situation, unfortunately. 1804, God take, took Alexander Hamilton from us. You gotta watch what you say at dinner parties, especially you women. Uh, 1914, uh, George Herman Ruth, also known as Babe Ruth, played his first game for the Boston Red Sox. Babe Ruth, I don't know. Why don't they just call him Nancy, or Susan, or Karen, or Mary? Babe, 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 it's your turn to bat, babe. Babe, it's your turn to bat, babe. I mean, give me a break. 1914, Babe Ruth plays his first game with the Boston Red Sox. And in 1955, the U.S. Air Force Naval Academy opened uh, on a temporary basis at Loring Air Force Base in Colorado. Uh, it later moved to Colorado Springs, Colorado and that's where it is today. So our hats are off in 1955 to the opening of the Air Force. Uh, I'm standing on Bermuda grass and it's very spongy. I'm trying to find my fi uh, footing and uh, maybe there was a tree here once and it was removed. It seems like there's a little bit of an indent. Anyway, so those are the items of interest. Uh, I also want to discuss yesterday's presentation in my room. That room, it just struck me last night when I went back to my room. The room is a special needs room. It's for people in wheelchairs. That's why it had all the handrails and that's why the, the closet was down below. You know, it was for wheelchairs. That's why I was in, <laughs> I'm in a handicapped room. That's why there was a bench in the shower. That's why there was a ramp at the sliding glass doors. So I want to apologize for any uh, mis, mis uh, cata, uh, cata, uh, mis cata, uh, uh, for, uh, for not bringing that up and recognizing what, what it was. I just didn't put two and two together and uh, whoa, big engine, big engine. Big engine, way to go. And, uh, and uh, well, it wasn't a terribly big engine, but it was a big engine. Uh, if you can hear it, it's a big engine. 
Uh, so I was in a handicap room yesterday. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments in the comment section about uh, my shirts. This is a Gap shirt, uh, slim fit. I don't know if it's doing its job today. Uh, a double X uh, made in China for those uh, interested in my clothing uh, brands. Uh, the Gap slim fit double X made in China. So uh, the room is great, just because it's a handicapped room, it doesn't matter. I, I prefer having a lot of handhelds. So uh, what else did I want to bring up? I'm at the beach, I may go swimming, I probably will, and then I'll hit the pool area. And it's always good to have a cap. This is my Toyota cap. This will keep the sun off my immediate forehead. And it's also uh, a good idea to bring field glasses or also known as binoculars. These are good. You can uh, see what's going on. Uh, before I jump in the water and try to save somebody who appears to be drowning, I want to make sure that they are in fact drowning. There's the train whistle. Did you hear it? Blow it again. Blow it again. That's a, that's a federal uh, regulation that the train must blow its whistle at least three to four or five times at any uh, train crossing. So that's why you hear that uh, whistle. Uh, there he goes again. So uh, a field of glasses are good. You can actually zoom in on the person that you believe to be drowning. Make sure they are in fact drowning. Big engine, big engine. Uh, you can save them. So have your hat, field glasses is a good idea. Now I'm going to uh, take you on a short, uh, a short uh, tour of where I am on the uh, on the grounds of the Hilton, and you'll be able to see exactly where I am. Right on the beach, I'm just going to uh, deflate my uh, selfie uh, uh, tripod, pull up the legs so I can better maneuver it around and show you what I believe you will enjoy viewing. I'll do a close-up. That's the Santa Barbara Pier right there in the background. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, straight out there is the Santa Barbara Pier. And it's just a beautiful day, nice and breezy. Not as, not as hot, not as hot as it, uh, not as, not as hot as it was yesterday. circle back. This is the beach over to the right. Just a beautiful, you know, everybody complains about California and the regulation and, 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 and this, that, and the other thing, but big engine, big engine, look at him go. He's on the pegs. disappear from the planet. I'm not a big fan of California. It's like people who hate cats. Why do you hate cats if you don't own a cat? Why would you even think about cats? You, you, you know, it's, 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 it's a psychotic break in, uh, in, in rationale. You know? I hate cats. Well, if you don't own a cat, what, what the heck do you care about cats? Look at these beautiful palm trees. Most people don't realize palm trees are uh, imported into California, they're not native to California. But California, you would think they are, the way they're uh, imported and, and, and grown in nurseries and uh, transplanted here to beautiful California. This is the, uh, the resort. These are all the, uh, put this on a wide 
lens, I'm sorry. This is uh, the resort here, now you can see it a little bit better. So, uh, everybody gripes about California, but I mean, come on. I mean, you can't beat the weather. Certainly, you have earthquakes from time to time, but what's your chance of getting killed in an earthquake is the same chance of getting killed in an airplane crash or winning the lotto. It's just not going to happen. And if it does happen to you, just chalk it up for extreme bad luck. I mean, bad luck. Uh, the weather here is just... You know, if gas, if gas goes up to $80 a gallon, you're still in California. You're still in California, and you don't need a car. You can get around without a car if you think you can. But uh, coming up to the main lobby area, and this is right on the beach. Hence, they call it the uh, Hilton Beachfront Resort. We had a wonderful celebration. Get on one of these things and try to. These are some uh, vehicles over here. Last night's celebration was wonderful. I had the uh, cow or the flat iron steak, and it was just cooked to perfection. The other, the other guests had the salmon. There was one, one person. Now look at this. Look at the size of this one. Look at this. Holy cow. Look at this. Wow. Let me try to get up and see if I can't get up on there. Wow. This is a big chair. Whoa, whoa. Oh, man. That's an incline, huh? That's, that's an incline. I might have pulled a muscle. I think I might have pulled a muscle in a muscle. Uh, so we're just going to take you a little tour before I wrap this uh, presentation off. I'm going to use the pool today. I'm going to go in the ocean. That's the Pacific Ocean for you people that aren't familiar with the, the landscape of California. That would be the Pacific Ocean. Next stop, China. Next stop, China. You know, unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, the graduation uh, PhD celebration for my niece Laura was wonderful. A good time was had by all. The professors were there. A lot of intelligent people were there. I love smart people. I'm not afraid of smart people. I think smart people are great. What they're doing now today, I think, is they're calling smart people elites. Somehow uh, there's a... Uh, 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 this is the... Uh, this is the... Uh, COVID has changed a lot of things. Uh, we're, we're still experiencing the red ravages of COVID, COVID blowback. This is the plaza in here. The lobby is straight ahead, the main lobby. Just a beautiful area. And uh, there's the pier. I don't know if you can see a better shot of the pier. Let me try to get the Santa Barbara pier in the background. It's kind of faint. Kind of faint. Anyway, uh, they're calling elites. They're it's a backlash against elites. And in my opinion, elites are just people who are very intelligent, very smart in their given field. Graduates from uh, stellar institutions of learning. And uh, I like smart people. I'm not afraid of smart people. I encourage people. I'd rather hang around with smart people than knuckle draggers, you know? You know, your team won. That's great. Now, can we talk about something else besides the score of that rubber ball?
tournament or whatever it was uh, going on. This is pretty nice here. Pretty nice. There's the mountains of uh, Santa Barbara. Educated, very smart, intelligent people uh, at the dinner party last night. There was one woman from India who had written, I don't know, books upon books, one of the most intelligent. And it's just interesting, you know. They may be on a certain level harder to communicate with or talk to, but certainly you get more out of talking to smart people, or uh, as some people put it, uh, elites. Where would we be without elites? Everything that's ever been invented is from somebody's very intelligent engineers and doctors and they're all elites. Where would we where would we be without elites? Down at the end of the bar playing darts all day? Drink until we barf? And then drinking some more just to take the edge off? I don't know what the answer is. But there certainly shouldn't be a backlash against elites or smart people. So you, you, you call it the way you want to see it. I could be wrong. These are just my opinions. Here's a foosball table. This is a very popular event at most uh, gin mills or bars. This is a foosball table and it gets hairy. It gets nuts. You get a guy that knows how to play fuseball, foosball, whatever it is. And there's the ball. Just an example of another ball in uh, how this is scored is the ball goes in the net. Like most uh, team sports, did it go in the hole? Did it go in the net? Did it go over the net? Did it go over the wall? Was it caught? Was it dropped? Was it hit? Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of the same principle. Here's ping pong. Very good. I think I'll play a little ping pong. My father was quite a ping pong player. Uh, very popular. This is right outside the lobby. And then we'll go right in. And uh, there's a view on the beach there. I hope some of you are finding these images uh, satisfying. Some are probably already tuned out when I started to praise the uh, and accolades for smart people. Probably said, you know what? I don't like people who are smart. Here's a dining area off to the right. I'll try to be as... Uh, not as, uh, uh, you know, I don't draw attention to myself. Here's the lobby. People checking in, checking out over there. We'll go out front here and show you the front area of the... Uh... Here's Doug. Doug was nice enough to tie my tie yesterday. I wanted that professional life. Hey, Doug. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Thank you, Doug. And, uh, uh, well, just, that was Doug. Yeah, he was very nice. He's one of the valet workers. That's where I found about, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Hilton. Uh, what's her name? Uh, the Hilton. I'm going to close this video off now. i got about 20 minutes here. I just want to show you the facility. There it is. Beachfront Hilton. Thanks again, Doug. And uh, what was her name? Let's go back outside. Uh, Hilton. What was the Paris Hilton? Yes, I got the scoop on Paris Hilton yesterday that I didn't know. But evidently, I started to talk about it briefly yesterday. But uh, these airlines, people. God, they're putting these airline workers at, uh, up at the Hilton. My God. No wonder the price of flying is so expensive. 
but uh, beautiful lobby area. I uh, hope these images are doing justice. There's a skylight up there, which you can see. And uh, so Paris Hilton, evidently the grandfather. Oh, my pants are falling down now. Just, that's why suspenders are so good. It's impossible for your pants to fall down if you're wearing suspenders. So let me wrap this video up. But I just did want to talk to you a little about uh, Paris Hilton. The word on the street is they got a memo from corporate office. Everybody got a memo. This must have happened some time ago. And uh, uh, let me see. ago, uh, 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 Paris Hilton, uh, when she was going through her adolescence and her drinking and driving and dancing on tables, she was uh, 86 from the whole brand. She was not good for the Hilton brand. And I guess the great grandfather or the grandfather, somebody high up in the echelon, gave her the word, gave her a buyout. Just, just, just completely got rid of Paris Hilton uh, with the Hilton Hotel chain because of her behavior. It just got too much. She was in the tabloid, she was in the newspaper every weekend and uh, up in Hollywood. She was hanging around with that other girl, uh, 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 the daughter of that famous singer. Uh, uh, you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, she got into a lot of trouble and uh, Hilton Hotel don't have anything to do with Paris Hilton anymore. And I didn't know that. That's how, uh, and I got this right from somebody who works here, that they got a note or a, a memo down uh, right from there. So uh, uh, let's recap and uh, can you see the ocean in the background? Can you see the ocean in the background? Can you see the ocean in the background? Can, can you see the ocean in the background? Can you see the ocean in the background, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, 1804, Aaron Burr shot a Alexander Hamilton in a duel. There was something terrible said about uh, William uh, Aaron, and uh, they had a duel, and, they, and, they, and he shot him to death, you know? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to. Uh, 1914, George Herman Ruth, also known as Babe Ruth, don't ask me how he got that nickname, uh, uh, played his first game with the Boston Red Sox. And in 1955, the U.S. Uh, Air Force Academy opened at Loring Air Force Base, Colorado, temporarily until they found their home in Colorado Springs. I hope you enjoyed this kind of butchy uh, presentation. The camera moved around a lot. I was going from place to place. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say, but enjoy your Sunday. It's the beginning of a new week. It's your turn to make this week better than last week. And uh, take the time to do what you can. And I'll take the time to learn how to speak properly. I, Uh, thank you. That's the ocean. That's the ocean. Let's give a close-up of the ocean. And we'll end it there.